So now we're going to practice changing from the F just to the normal C chord, okay? So just to remind you, the normal C chord is your third finger in the third box, like that. So, to get from F to a normal C, you've got your F chord there, you just simply lift both fingers into the air and put down, put down your third one in the third box. And then to get back to F, you just lift the third one into the air and put the two fingers down. Now when you get good at this, you can do it almost at the same time, like that. But to start off with, it's okay if you have a little gap between them. So we're going to do just the same kind of practice now, starting off with four shushes in between. Time for you to change, okay? So this time... For a change, we're going to start off with the C chord. So get your C chord ready with your third finger in the third box. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And get that first finger ready in the first box, second finger in the second box, over on the G string for your F chord. Those fingers go into the air. Third finger goes in the third box, ready for the C again. First finger in the first box on the second string over. Second string on the second box, on the top string. for you, just stop the video and carry on practicing that by yourself. But for now we're going to go on to do six strums on each chord and then two shushes. Okay, so starting again with the C chord after four. One, two, three, four. if you like, but for now we're going to go on to do eight strums on each chord, okay? Starting on C again, are you ready? One, two, three, four. to learn changing from the F chord and that is G7. So to change from your F chord to G7 here's what you need to do. You've got your first finger in the, sec in the first box on the second string for F and your second string is in the second box on the top string there. You've got your F chord. 
So to make a G7, all you do is lift off that second finger. First finger stays exactly where it is. Second finger goes one string over from where it was. And your third finger just tucks in on the string that's nearest the floor. So there you've got your triangle shape for G7. So to go back, third finger goes into the air and your second finger just jumps over one string back to where it was on the top string. So let's do that again. Second finger jumps over one, first finger doesn't move at all, third finger tucks in there on the bottom string. Third finger goes into the air and second finger jumps over one to back to F. And that's it. So we're going to do four strums of each one again after four, starting this time on F. So get your F chord ready, first finger in the first box on the second string, the E string, second finger on the G string in the second box, there's F. One, two, three, four. Okay, now your second finger goes into the air and jumps one over. Third finger tucks in on the bottom string, also in the second box. Third finger jumps off into the air. Second finger jumps back to where it was, back up one string. Second finger hops one string down. Third finger tucks in onto the bottom string. Third finger jumps off again into the air. Second finger jumps back. All this time the first finger is not moving at all. Okay, let's try that with the shushes, okay? One, two, three, four. like that by yourself without the video okay we're going to go on to doing six drums and two counts of shh for you to change okay after four starting on the F chord one two three four that by yourself if you haven't quite got it yet but if you have got it we're gonna go on to doing eight strums on each chord okay starting on F and going to G7 ready one two three four <laughs>
okay if you've managed to get all that then well done.